This is a 1967 Mercury 9.8. It runs if I put gas in the carburetor and keeps spraying gas in the carburetor, but then it dies when I stop. So it's a carburetor issue. So I'm going to take the carburetor off, clean it up, put it back in. There's some handles right back here on the back. Just push them down and that should unlatch the top case. Now I'm going to take the carburetor off. It's right here. First I'm going to take this choke and stuff off so I don't have to worry about breaking this choke lever. See right here how it works. Okay, this bolt here, I'm going to take it out. It's a 7 16 And these up here, as you can see I've already got it broke loose. It is also a 7 16 So you got one of those on each side. I'm going to go ahead and take the 7 16 bolt on out. Don't lose the spring. What you got to do is pop it off, pull this out a little bit, come right out. It's in this slot right here. And then take the spring off. Now I'm going to go ahead. Already loosen this one up, but it will not come all the way off until I get the other side loose. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, now with the other side loose, I can go ahead and pull the carburetor out a little bit and get this nut the rest of the way off. Put it out my way. Okay, I got the other nut ready to come off. It's right here. Okay, the nut. This is in the way, so I got to get it out of there so I don't break it. So the way to get this off is to go down here and push this in and give it a quarter turn. Let go of it. I come back in here and push this forward. And it should pop right off. As you can see right here, that's how it goes on there. Now we take the carburetor off. Okay, the next thing we'll do is we'll take this bolt right here out. It is a 3 8 and that will give us this whole bottom section right here. Wow, and there's a filter in here. Right there it is, and uh, looks pretty dirty. So I'm going to clean that up. Okay, I'm going to hook the fuel up to it and pump it, and I want to see if fuel comes out of this right here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pump the ball, see what happens. Oop. And we are getting fuel. Now I'm going to go ahead and take these two quarter inch small bolts out. Okay, here's what it looks like. Right there's your needle, if you can see it. Is different than uh, other needles. This one's not going to just fall out. You actually have to take these pins out to get that out. But I cleaned it with uh, some carburetor cleaner and it's coming right through it. You got two holes here, one on each side. Make sure those are clean. Okay, now as you can see here, you got two screws. You got a short one, you got a long one. The long one goes on the outside, and the short one goes on the inside. Just like right here, as you can see. These are different. The short one goes to this side, the long one goes to this side. So this will go back in just like this. Put it over here on the side. Now, let's look at this. This is the, oh, this must be the float. It's got a spring in the top of it. Don't lose the spring. This plug here takes a 7 16 wrench. Okay, I'm going to take and take this right here out because I'm going to check it see if it needs cleaned. If it does, I will clean it. Okay, I had to pull my gloves off so I don't lose some of this small stuff, but this should have a hole through it, and it does. It's a nice clean hole. 
So I'm going to put it back in. Now I'm going to take this one out and see what it looks like on the inside. Now up inside here, I got to take this out and we'll see what that looks like. Put a screwdriver up in there and grab hold of it. There it is. Now here this is. Came out of there just like this. I can see through it. It's pretty clear. Let's see. Yeah, you can see through it. The holes on the sides. I can see through those. So this is pretty clean as well. So I'll put this back together. Get it up in there. And I'll put the plug back in it. Now I'll go ahead and install the plug. Okay, I'll put some carburetor cleaner in here. I'm going to put the float back in. Now I'm going to put the top back on. And remember how it goes. The long one goes to this side. The short one goes to the inside. But that means this longer piece goes to the outside. So put your longer bolt out here. the shorter bolt on the inside. Go ahead and snug them down. Okay, it's all bolted back together. I've cleaned the screen out. I've cleaned the top here off. And I'm going to go over and put it back together. Okay, now I'll go ahead and stick it back on here like so. Okay, make sure you get it seated down on there properly. And the carburetor's got to be turned like so. There we go. Now, once we get it all situated out in the way we want it, we'll go ahead and tighten that down a little bit more. Because right now I got to put it up on here. There we go. And now that's on there, I can tighten this down. Now I got to push back on there. I just got to bolt it down. I'll get this bolt started first because if I get the other one started and get it too far on, then this one won't be able to uh, go on there. So I got to get it started with the carburetor pulled halfway off of it. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and start the other one. Now I'll go ahead and put the choke mechanism on. Okay, make sure this goes towards the motor. And line this up with your pin on your choke. Like so. Okay. Once it's lined up, just push this in, turn it, quarter turn, and let go of it, and now you're good. Go ahead and put the spring on first on the top. Now, this could be a little tricky. All you got to do is Get the plate in there and get the bolt in there through that spring and find the hole that it goes to, which is right there. So this might take a minute. Okay, now make sure you put your choke in this little slot, put the bolt through the spring and uh, bolt it up. And make sure your choke's over to the left. That way you can hold your spring in place with the bolt and get it lined up and get it started. Okay, you can go ahead and tighten this down with your fingers. A long ways it takes a 7 16 wrench okay what you want to do is you want to just snug it down you'll make sure that this moves just keep on moving it and snug it down you don't want it to back out so that's a little too tight so I'm going to back it up a little bit and there is where I want it okay now I'll go ahead and see if it'll start
deal.